Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to add environmental variables to your code sandbox. I will sign in. If you don't have an account, please feel free to create one. Um, I already had an account uh, with code sandbox, so I'm going to sign in with GitHub. Once I sign in, um, let's go and create a new sandbox, kind of to give us a new environment. And I would like to create, uh, to prototype the express example starter. I think that should be sufficient enough to, for us to achieve our aim. Now, why this loads? On your left hand side, okay, as you hover, you should be able to see these icons with their label. So, for example, this is a code sandbox information. Uh, now, click on this where it says server control panel. Let's click on that. And then, right a little bit under, right here, you should see secret keys. And this is where the environmental variables goes. Um, so while we do that, let's go and grab .env from the grocery store of code, which is npm. Let's go and grab a package called .env. .env um, should help us um, be able to grab whatever we have here and use it within our code. So npm uh, install that env. Now, if you are not interested in seeing, you know, if this actually works, um, you just want to know how to add the environmental variables, that's really it. So let's uh, add one. For example, I'm going to name this my secret that will be the key or that will be the name so the value here is the actual secret super secret that is my secret i'll click add secret right here and as you can see it's already added you can click the little pen icon to edit and so on and so forth um now, so that's really it. You can add as many as you like. Uh, my second, if I can spell, second secret, super second secret. And I'll add that as well. Um, so that's really it, guys. Now, if you want to hang around to see how I can actually access this my super secret keys within my code please feel free to stay but otherwise thank you for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial okay so for those of you that are still hanging around um let me show you how i would access my keys within my code i need to go to my files let's see what we have here on the routes folder there's index.js and there is uh, users.js files. Let's click on the users. Okay, so we have a route. Let's see, let me display the key here so you can actually see it uh, here. Uh, the first thing I need to do is to go to the user's URL, click on that. And it should uh, respond with whatever that is here. I'm going to delete that. And then I will now access our secret. And this I'm going to do it. So thanks to the .env file that we downloaded, we can do process that env dot the name of the secret. Remember, uh, you know, this is a secret. 
the secret comes in in a pair so a name and the actual uh, secret so let's see let me choose my secret as the name of my secret okay so proceed on env that the name of the secret and in this case is my secret all right let's refresh here and we should see super secret there we go guys um now if i want to access my second super secret let me copy the name just to make sure i'm spelling it right remove my secret and then add the name of my second secret okay i need to refresh this to actually see you see my super second secret that is it guys thank you for stopping by and i will see you in the next tutorial